Welcome to Holy Spirit Catholic Church in Goddard. Recently, I've been sharing with you information about the various ministries within our parish. And today I want to talk to you about one of the more prominent ministries available here, and that is the ministry of our school. The school serves to provide a Catholic education for our students and to form disciples of Christ. And that comes as a gift of your generosity. Um, the stewardship of the parish provides that education for the students. And so in particular in this time where we're locked down and we're at home and the students are at home and the teachers are at home, I thought it would be nice to give you an update on how that's going. So today I'm gonna to introduce you to Kelly Bright, who is the principal of our school, to share more about that. Kelly, tell me a little bit about yourself and your family. Ben and I have been married for 28 years. We have five children. They're all grown, not necessarily out of the house, but grown. And we have two grandsons, Jordy and Brady. And how long have you been at Holy Spirit? This is my 15th year at Holy Spirit. You've been here a long time. What is it that you love about being here? What I love about Holy Spirit is the welcoming and family feel that the parish and the school both have. Can you tell me about Holy Spirit in its beginning? How many teachers and staff did this school begin with? We opened in 2002 with two teachers. There was a kindergarten and a combined first and second grade. And two years later, I came along and taught full time and was the principal. So as we grew, we split apart our combined classes. And by 2008, we had kindergarten through eighth. And then in 2009, we added our preschool program. So what challenges did you face in working in such a small school there at the beginning? We shared a main entrance with the church for many years and didn't really have a school entrance that was secure. So we added that on through the help of a capital campaign um, funded by the parishioners here. Um, we also added on office space and a teacher workroom. So that was a real blessing that we were missing. Um, then we went many, many years without a gym and that was added three years ago so all of the years of having PE in the hallway and running around the Statue of Mary finally came to an end and we were able to celebrate and many activities are hosted in that area now by the parish and the school as well. We're in kind of a historic moment in terms of education. What have been some of the challenges that you have faced in this time of continuous learning? Not seeing each other has been a really big challenge for, I think, students and teachers as well. When you sign up to be a teacher, you expect to be in a classroom full of noise and children learning and working together. And when we didn't return after spring break, it really took us by surprise, first of all, and secondly, challenged us in a way we'd never been challenged before to teach the children without being right there in front of them. And on that same point then, what are some of the unexpected blessings that you've also witnessed in this time? We have seen the students really handle all of this with grace and maturity but also in partnership with their parents and the time that they are getting to spend at home with them. Obviously, I love Holy Spirit Catholic School, but don't take my word for it. Here's a couple of our students to share their thoughts. My name is Hannah. I have um, a sister named Rebecca and my grandma lives with us. Um, I live on a farm. I have cows <laughs> and that's about it. <laughs> Um, my name is Christina and I come from a family of eight and I'm the third out of six children and we have about two dogs. And in this time of pandemic when we're all at home for school, what are some blessings that you have discovered in doing your schoolwork at home? The best thing about doing school at home is the, the time you have. It's not as crunched and you know, you're not spending a whole bunch of time doing one thing in class. It's, spending three hours doing everything at one time instead of just one class at a time. 
And on the flip side of that, what are maybe some challenges that you've discovered in having to do your work at home? Um, well, I can't see any of my friends. Um, sometimes it gets a little like hard to stay focused, but other than that, I think it's pretty good. And what do you value about your Catholic education? The community of the Catholic Church is just very welcoming and it's all focused. It's you know people, even if you've never met them, you still know their face. It's very familiar. And what are you looking forward to about moving on to Bishop Carroll next year? For Bishop Carroll, I'm excited for new classes and uh, wider sports opportunities and just the simple sports that our school has for larger teams made up of multiple schools instead of just your own. Yeah, I'm looking forward to new faces, new teachers. Um, I'm excited that sports are going to be a little more challenging. As you grow into your role as stewards in the church, how would you define that role? How would you define stewardship as it applies to you? Um, to me, it's recognizing you have a talent, whatever it is, and you share the talent and you're not afraid to share. And for me, it's showing your light or talent to the world, not hiding it like under a wicker basket, like in the reading or whatever. It's showing your life, your light to the world. Thank you for taking the time to learn about this ministry of our Catholic school. We ask that you continue to pray for our students and their families and for our teachers as they make this transition here at the end of the school year into summer and then as they transition back into the school year in August. The formation of our students as disciples of Christ is one of the greatest gifts this community can give. And as St. Francis of Assisi said, it is in giving that we receive. In building these disciples, we continue to build that community. And we're so grateful for the part that you play in it. Thank you.